this, this right here, it's the ultimate hiking stick. I'm about to tell you why. I made this thing in 1990 with a pal of mine on a, a backpacking, uh, camping trip. We climbed a mountain, me and my buddy Lance, a career Marine, brother from another mother, great friend, good dude. We each made one. Of course, his doesn't have the same details mine does. Again, 1990, so I've had this over 30 years now. It's, uh, we'll start with the wood. I don't know what the wood is. It's like a vine or something. It's hard, real hard. But the interesting thing about it is it's twisted. <clears throat> you can see these little lines. The grain in this is twisted. That makes it extremely strong. It's like burl wood or something. Not that this is burl wood, it's not. But when you have grain that is complicated, it makes it strong. So if it's just straight grain, it's easier to snap it. This thing's got a lot of flex to it. And obviously I've never broken it. Uh, over the years, like at one point, these lines opened up on me and it's time to do it again. What I'll do is I'll sand this out a little. I'll put some crazy glue in there and then sand it out and then I'll oil it. It looks great. You're noticing this, I'm sure. You're like, what's that about? Well, that's just was built into it already, but here's what's really cool about this. When you're walking, you can flick it out in front of you. And it works with both hands. That's real convenient. Most hiking sticks, your wrist is vertical, but with this, it's ergonomic. It's on an angle. Like your hand, now, when you bring your hand up in front of you, you it's on an angle, all right? Usually. The other thing that's neat about it is this little thing here. So I made this a little bigger. Fit your thumb in there. Now, why is that so important? When I'm climbing a grade, I could drive this point in and use it to help pull myself up. And my hand won't slip down the shaft. If you want to use this as a weapon, even, bam, you know, your thumb is locked. You're not going to, your hand's not going to slip beyond that. So that's cool. This little bow, man, when you're really humping and you're tired and you want to get some air in your lungs, whew, this really opens up your lungs so you can breathe, you know, it's, it's good. So that's it. I put this steel tip on. This is something I found in the Veritas catalog. I think that's a Canadian woodworking catalog. It has a rubber nub you could put on there and I always kept a spike and obviously that needs to be tuned up. These details led me to make walking sticks for a while. I was selling for like 150 bucks a piece. I don't make them anymore. Somebody recently asked me for one, and I just happened to find this. Um, and what I did here was I shaped the thumb catch in there, and there's a little compass on the end here, and uh, it's laminated. So on this particular one, it's walnut, and it looks like mahogany and walnut on the outside. So just two kinds of woods in this particular one. It's actually pretty light, really light. I think this is lighter. Wow, this is lighter than this one. Uh, it needs to have a tip put on the end of it. This stick here would probably be good for somebody. When you're walking, this is pretty much what you want. You want a 90 degree bend at your arm, just for it to be comfortable and be able to use for different purposes. <clears throat> I can put a steel tip on this, but I, because it's, it's laminated, it's less likely to break. And um, I, you're able to drill holes in it without sacrificing structural integrity. So I put a bunch of paracord on here. And the neat thing about that is, is you could reroute this. You can't do it here, but you could reroute it so you could strap this across your back if you had to climb something. Climb a tree, climb a mountain, whatever. You don't have to leave your stick behind. Also with this, you put this in the ground here. And uh, you can figure out points and you can make like a little tent with a tarp. So you can use this to hold up a structure. So kind of the ultimate hiking stick there, but still not as cool as the original. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thought you guys might dig it. The compass still works on this one. That's it. Uh, I, it's, it's funny, I watched that Alone show and a lot of other shows if I found myself in the woods, and if at least I have a knife, the first thing I'm going to make, if I don't have this with me already, is a hiking stick. Because it's more than just a hiking stick. You can also defend yourself with it. You could put all sorts of things on it and use it as a frog gig. You just do all sorts of things with it. Again, a shelter stake, um, 
it, it's I, I, when you're in particular if you're hiking around you've got weight on your back and you've got to cross some water just having that extra foot that's three points of contact on the ground helps you cross some rough water rough terrain ain't it? it's kind of funny to me when I was in the service that we didn't all have hiking sticks like that, that they should teach you that in the Marine Corps and you should have one because <laughs> it really helps a lot anyhow that's the story I will say this too 1990 Easter, Delaware Water Gap, Sunfish Pond. <clears throat> I've done a lot of camp at Lance. We always have separate tents because that guy can snore. <laughs> it's a loud snoring dude. <laughs> and uh, I remember that morning, sun wasn't up yet, and something walked between our tents. You know, early morning, right, obviously. And I remember it. It was hard pack. It was almost like rock there, like hard clay, so it wouldn't leave an imprint. But I heard something walk between our tents. There's no one else up there, so I don't know who would be up there at this hour. And it took very, because it stepped here, and it was heavy. And then it stepped way over here. And then way and it walked between the tents and I remember thinking that's a heavy big person and I bring this up because if you see my video and I'll put a link to it under here about my uh, my Bigfoot encounter up there it's no joke same area just a few miles away from Sunfish Pond that might have been my first uh, Bigfoot experience I don't know Lance didn't hear because he's too busy snoring away to anyhow story of the the uh, hiking stick the backstory and uh, have a great day. Be good to one another. Hope you enjoy it.